Welcome. Welcome to Shade, to Shade in, in the, the city. city. I am your girl, Trace. It's Nels. And I think y'all been at work while we've been going. I know, right? I we, we, we took a little time off, not because we wanted to. Look, my job done had me up at 4 a.m. So for me to be here with y'all, it's a blessing and a pleasure. But I did miss you guys. So thank you. Thank you for coming through. And um, yes, today we are getting into... Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15, episode 12. We know we're late. We know 13 is out. We will catch up, guys. Bear with us, okay? Again, I've had some early mornings and some early nights because I need some. I ain't gonna lie. I took off because I wanted to. Well, she I, got lucky because I, I had things to do. Um, to or or she, <laughs> she, she would be getting written up. She would be getting a verbal. <laughs> um, actually, I think she's past verbal. we written at this point. Um, but yes, guys, but I do want to shout y'all out. Shade Squad, thank you so much. All of our newest subscribers. Oh, yes. Thank y'all so, so much. It was so beautiful over the weekend. I to actually take a break, but y'all did And just see things go up. And I'm like, I don't understand because we're not doing anything. Um, and I, so we appreciate it. We so, so appreciate the yep. love and the support. And we just ask for you to continue to support us because we love y'all and we love coming here with y'all and spending a lot of late nights when we ain't got to be up at four in the morning. Now, if you haven't already, Shade Squad and our new viewers, please make sure that you hit that like button. And that subscribe button. And I know I got her off track, but the name of the episode is Sex Slides and Video Phone. Thank you. Um, and y'all, I, well, I didn't have it. That's why I didn't say it. But oh. <laughs> then, <you> know, <laughs> let's get shady. Let's get into it. And let's get shady. Yeah, she did throw me off. Like So Candy is leaving the other ladies. She's headed back to work as usual. Uh, Kenya is feeling better and just happy to be standing. You know, oh my God. It was, I mean, don't get me wrong. She could have been severely hurt. I'm not making light of it, but do I think that she like milked it? I, I definitely think she was trying to milk it. And her, her fall looked like it hurt the way she landed. It looked, it looked, it looked painful. We're happy you're okay, Kenya. So Kenya feels like I, we have, we're happy you're okay. We can't say the same for Courtney. Now, mm -hmm. Uh, Kenya feels like somebody put roots on her and she feels like it might be Marlo because here she is ending up in a toy twice in a stretcher in the last two months. And I said, well, I, I mean, I, I do think what Courtney said was wrong, but if whether it be Courtney or Marlo, I would start to reevaluate life. Like I have a thing and I really do believe in karma. Like I believe every time like I tell a really, really bad lie, I get a flat tire. It it never fucking fails. I I like I literally know it's the universe telling me you're fucking up. And so when that happens to me, I'm like, what am I doing wrong, universe? What do I need to correct? What did I or usually I'm like, that's that lie you told. That's why you're sitting on the side of the road. <laughs> goodness i think most people just get a lion bump or something you you get a flat tire you yes, gotta spend I money get a flat tire every, you, gotta, yes. you gotta spend money when you lie yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes yes that's the that's the it the universe be like ha ha i'm gonna hit you where it hurts <laughs> yeah. um, so kenya says that she couldn't sleep though because candy was calling her heated candy says she has no reason to lie basically and kenya doesn't understand why drew was so upset because she says that she saw the kiss as well. Now, Marlo, as we know, apparently took footage of this whole conversation. Um, and I was confused, I think, last review, because I thought Marlo had footage of them kissing is what I thought my understanding was. And then I realized this episode, Marlo was taking footage of the conversation that they the were conversation. having. Mm -hmm. so, but apparently she wasn't the only one. Right. Apparently Monetta was too. Mm -hmm. so uh drew immediately called latoya to try to get straighten things out and marlo believes she might have even cash after her to lie and jump on board with the lie and i said well damn 
Damn, Marlo, that's a lot. Um, and so Marlo says that, you know, please watch her on these mountains because I guess they're getting ready to go do some yoga or they're preparing to head out for the day. Oh, no, they're going to do sound baths. And so mm -hmm. she's like, you know, watch me going up these mountains because, you know, Drew was, was big mad at me. She's really feeling the way. So, you know, if I go over a cliff, y'all already know who did it. And I was like, well, maybe Drew will put some roots on you. I don't know. <sighs> then Sheree, she sat down with Drew. And of course, she's still talking about the night before because she is 38 hot. Um, but she said, you know, she had a great time until all that mess went down. And Drew said, you know, she thought she was in a safe space. What? what? I'm not trying to cut you off, but um, can you tell me why Drew was so upset? Because she don't want nobody knowing she kissed a girl. She kissed a girl. And, and she, she liked it. She don't, but she don't want nobody to know. She want, she want uh, everybody to think that Ralph is the only cheater. So, okay, so let's let's dig deeper into that. That's why I asked. <laughs> let's, like, let's dig it. Let's dig, because I understand that because clearly we know they're going through a divorce now. So do you think that's because of the divorce that she doesn't want? Because my thing is, this came out long ago. It was said on the reunion. It's been said on tape. I even, um, Candy even reposted when LaToya was on Speak On It her season and talk and her talking about how she her and Drew made out. So mm -hmm. they both have went on pub well, not I won't say both, but Latoya has went on public platforms and said it many times on camera where they can roll back footage. And so for now, for you to say that that didn't happen. And I just well, I mean, even again, even from when I watched the episode, I did get the feeling that there something happened. I don't think they did Drew, it. Drew Drew is holding on to the fact that Latoya is not very credible, and the only footage there is is of Latoya saying that it happened. It, I mean, and everybody else that says that they were there, but you know, she's like, there was no cameras. Basically, nobody caught it. So, it's my word against yours. But yeah, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that she's going through the divorce. You know, right now, giving? when what? you said that, it's what? giving. I'm gonna lie to lie. Absolutely. Because I know someone else like the that. They're going to the <laughs> they gonna, they gonna so, tell you the same lie. It's never going to change. They're going to lie today. And those, those, those are, the to me, the most dangerous people in the world. Because and you don't think that's you? Me? I ain't going to lie. You I'll listen. You have out your own mouth. You're like, no, if I lie, I'm taking it to my grave. If I lie, it's going to be the same lie. No, 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 no. Not lie. Okay? Oh, okay. Not lie. I'm just not gonna say, and I'm taking it to my grave. Oh, but I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just not gonna tell you what it is, and I'm gonna take it to my grave. You just ain't never gonna know. It ain't um, none of your damn business. If I kiss the girl, guess what? Kiss my ass, cause I don't know. You ain't. You ain't gonna know. Okay? The hell, I don't remember. But if you're Drew, how do you get out of that when people had seen it? I was drunk. Leave me the hell alone. <laughs> I was drunk, and if no, I did it, so can, can so that's what I guess what frustrates me about the situation is because I just want Drew to just come out and say I was drunk. I don't. If I did, I don't remember. Like and, and people are actually trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. Like, well, maybe she don't remember because she's so good at lying. But no, listen. Even if I knew, and my maybe that okay, maybe I'll lie about that. Maybe I'll be like, I don't remember. I think it is is a lot of the ladies didn't think it was a big deal. Right. Like, oh yeah, she kissed. She kissed the toy. Like it's not. They didn't think like it was something that didn't need to be told. Like one because yes, Drew is married, but most guys really don't need to see that as cheating. So you know what I'm saying? She. They probably like it's not, not even a big deal. You kiss the toy or whatever. But has she said? Hey, listen, the stuff that happened down here, here in this basement. This is between us. Don't tell nobody. Be then, like, well, we all know. We we all know that it happened, but we ain't speaking about it versus you calling somebody a bold flex lie. When, like, just like Katie said, you ain't going to tell me what I saw. Mm. Well. Yeah, but. Mm -mm. So um, basically, you know, Drew said that she felt like she was in a safe space. 
um, you know, since it was girls night and they come to find out Marlo was recording her. And Sheree is like, girl, you on a whole reality TV show. Why you were you mad because somebody recording you? Okay. I said, Sheree. Who you got a point. Period. Well, until. Nope. <laughs> until. We look, found look, out why look. Marlo. Backspace, backspace, backspace. Right? <laughs> until we found out why Marlo was recording, okay? <laughs> it wasn't just for her own records. It was. <laughs> Um, you know, basically, Sheree says, you know, she tries to tell the girl so many people confirm that it happened, you know, like it's, it's your word, your little drunk words against everybody else that said that they seen it with their own eyes. And, you know, Drew said, yep, that's exactly why I'm side eyeing everybody. Girlfriend telling the truth? Maybe you need to stop telling people they're lying and just say, let's keep this under wraps because I don't remember. Drew even took it a step further and says that she thinks Candy is lying because she's trying to get her to warm up to the idea of kissing girls because of the role she has to play in her movie. And then she brings up the dungeon. Sheree said, look, we all know Drew is a liar. Okay. Okay. And she ain't shocked if Drew would tell another one. But not Candy. Okay. Candy is not no liar. Okay. Basically, um, she said she don't know where they stand. She don't know where her and Candy stand. And really, she don't even know if she want to do the movie anymore. But she she said she get real. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't sweating the small stuff. Yeah, like she ain't worried about that check. She is. It's Candy that be worried about the checks. Look, Drew Drew just don't. She just don't want to pay nobody. She, she ain't worried about making money. She just don't want to give her money out. Oh, no. She's absolutely worried about making money right now. I think that I think that this is just my opinion. I think that what we see and possibly it has a lot to do with um I think she's building herself up because she was planning her exit. I absolutely do. Um yeah, I think she was planning her exit. I think she knew it was coming. Um and I do believe I've seen a few I can't blame her for that. I've seen a few interviews that she's done where she because she we all okay she's we knew about florida i'm sure there's more stuff that we don't know about we now mm -hmm. know about this situation with the new girl so again her having to live with him and be with him on a regular basis i'm sure it, i think she just wanted to keep her slate clean so when she and build her bank up so when she does take it to divorce court she can get what she needs and he looks like the person that was unfaithful because I think she even tried to deny that uh, the rumor about her and Ty having a relationship because I think she said Ra uh, Ralph made that up as a way to like, so I think that I say that to say, I think that's why she's harping so hard on I didn't do this. I didn't cheat because she, like you said, she wants to be the one to go up in court and be like, nah, I didn't, I, I just was here. I'm going to therapy. He's not, but as you don't give me all your money. Right. But as you can see, it, it's a lot of stuff in this episode that I noticed. I said, she's setting us up or Bravo is setting us up for there. I mean, we know now, but it is, it, like I said, in the beginning, it was weird. And we were like, this is too perfect. Cause we know that that's not what's going on. And now it's like, okay, I see it. That she's setting herself up to make her exit. I ain't mad at her. Kenya and Mayetta, they feel that Drew has all right to be upset with Marlo. Of course, <laughs> they can't stand Marlo's ass. Um, and basically says that after the conversation last night um, and Candy left, Drew needs to watch out for her cousin. Kenya is here for all the drama um, and says that she's glad she's in better spirits to hear it all. Yeah. So Sheree is taking the ladies to a sound bath, um, as we know, and she has done her research and said, you know, she feels like it could be helpful for her uh, in her healing and, um, you know, for her fibroids. And I was like, but I thought you were going to not be stressed. And with this group of ladies, this is going to cause you stress. So it's counteracting what you're trying to do. Just a thought. She had hope. She had hope. Oh, hi, hopes. Anyway, so Drew says that uh, Marlo truly needs this and hopes that she hears every sound. 
I thought that was kind of cute. I said, go ahead, Drew. Why Kenya, because you know, sometimes her reads be off. I love Drew though. Why Kenya says she doesn't take many baths and realizes it might not be the same thing as an actual bath. And I said, Kenya, you too cute to be up here and look stupid. They asked Kenya about her, <laughs> her diagnosis from the hospital. And she tells them, they said it was trauma. So Courtney said it was probably more like drama. <laughs> she needs to sit her fake ass down and have a seat. Well, Kenya says what would make her feel better is she wants to hear Monetta bust out a rap. So apparently uh, Monetta used to rap when she was like a radio DJ and, by, and she went by the name of Money Shaw and she did a little, you know, thing. And um, Sheree says that, poor girl, you need to stick to the dance. She said it was a wiggity, 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 whack. So she said that that was <laughs> terrible. That was terrible. Um, I'm a, you know what? If Sexy Red can make it, Monetta, I'm, I'm behind you. So they're going up. They're going up a mountain, which I was like, oh, I can never do this. I've done something like this in the rainforest in Puerto Rico. And I felt like I was going to lose my life. I, I don't like stuff like this with, where there's no barriers where you can just go off cliffs. I don't like stuff. That's like a that. lot of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of other countries. They actually had to separate and get into smaller vans. Into smaller in vans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. So, um, yeah. So obviously we know we have the two alliances in each car. We got, you know, Kenya, Monetta and, um, Drew, and then you got Sonya, Marlo, and Sheree, and Courtney on the other side. Now, um, Drew is seems to really not be talking to anybody in the group. I noticed that. And then Marlo, uh, um, Sonya talks about how she felt everything was going so well, but the vibe changed that morning. And Kenya and Drew both bring up how Courtney isn't being as warm and fuzzy as she normally is. Mm -hmm. So Kenya tells her that, um, you know, tells Drew, your cousin ain't riding with you, boo-boo. And, you know, she got snatched up by the body snatchers, basically. And she tells her, I guess, about possibly a conversation, or I don't know if we saw her telling her on camera, but I definitely think that she told Drew about the conversation that happened the night before that Monetta shared with her. And I was like, okay, this is bad ass. This is always how it goes. It's always Kenya sharing some shit she wasn't that there she for. she wasn't there for. And I was like, Kenya, do better. Um, I know you got to be involved and you trying to get your scene time and, but girl, you and Marlo is just enough. Just sit back and like you an OG. Be like Sheree. If ain't nobody coming for you, just sit back. They get to their destination. They meet their sound healers. I loved how uh, Gita is the lady's name. I didn't remember the guy's name, but can you ask I just wonder why. Kenya, Kenya, the only one out of everybody that had to have a man's help to walk down the damn trail. Well, and I wonder if that was that lady's name. Because of her fall, and it was steep, and I thought she was scared she would fall again. But I love I'll give you, I love I'll give you that. to look at her like, really, really? Like, but I, you know what? I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So uh, they sit, they go to the healing. I am a big component. If you have never done it, Shade Squad, um, I suggest that you do it. It's great. If you need to release anything or anything that you're trying to hold inside you that needs to come out, a sound valve will do that for you. So, mm -hmm. uh, Kenny talks about when she's doing her session that she realizes she sees Brooklyn and she thinks about this life that she wants and wants to add another baby to the family. Uh, Sonia said that she realized she needs to treat her sister better. Um, and that that's just not her little sister. And she basically needs to make things right with her. Um, and Drew talks about her ups and downs with Ralph. But what I found funny is when they finished the session, Drew says she saw Ralph and her kids waiting for her. And I said, this is that wallpaper that I'll be talking about. We had a discussion off camera because you literally just told us in the confessional that your whole mindset during the sound bath was thinking about Ralph and his infidelities or whatever the case may be, but the state of your marriage. And then you get up in front of this group of people and you say, you see Ralph and your kids waiting for you. I was like, Marlo, baby, he's not waiting for you. You can tell us that if that makes you feel better, but I think the sound bath told you what it was. That's why it was on your mind. Cause that's what it does, mm. but that's just me. Now, yeah. um, 
I know Marlo said she was thinking about um when she got robbed and she's been having a uh, problem sleeping. Oh, well, she said that was the first time she was able to sleep. She said she was thinking about getting lobster, fed lobster and and shrimp or something from Scotland. Don't eat a little sleep right you know what? You're right. She did. She said that was the best sleep she ever got. Right. Because she hasn't been able to sleep. And yeah, she was thinking about food with Scotland. Mm hmm. So then after the sin, uh, but Kenya was like super, super emotional after it ended. Um, and basically Gita asked her, like, did something come up for you? And she says that she feels she can help more people and that Brooklyn is special and she doesn't know what she did to deserve her. Um, I didn't really understand it at first until I listened to somebody else. And Kenya has not always been a nice person, as we've seen or know. And um I can understand. I, I I can understand that feeling of feeling like you have something so great and you've produced something so beautiful and be like, God, what did I do to deserve this? So I, I, I it, it helped me understand better when I was like, OK, well, when you're when you haven't been the best person all your life, <laughs> you can understand why would God do this? Give me something so great. So I get it. Um, Kenya said mm -hmm. that she feels blessed having Brooklyn and really wants a sibling for her. So she's still on this let please already know season 16 is going to be Kenya getting a surrogate. I think I said that episode one or two, but it's clearly coming. She, this is going to be her storyline. So all the ladies sat down for lunch and Sheree is explaining that she spoke with her doctor about, you know, all the natural things that she's been doing to try to, um, you know, help her with her fibroids. And the doctor asked her if she knows any witches. She said, no, but I know a bunch it's of bitches. Bitch. That all like, and they ain't the ones helping you heal, boo. <laughs> and you know what I said? I said that can't be from hanging around Martel because he is not quick on his toes like that. No, because no. I just feel like I mean Sheree usually has a cute little, but like she's getting sharper with her shade. Like I love it. Like this episode, I really mm -hmm. saw, and it's like on point. Like sometimes it'd be like that's really stupid, or you just be like, but no, she was really on point this episode. Yeah. So, um, you know, after this great, amazing healing that everyone had, they, of course, had to bring up the night before. What the hell was that for? Can we, like, just sweep that under the rug for right now? No, just like they had to keep bringing up Bolo in the first place. It clearly, what this told me was that it was something that production wanted them to keep talking about. Because if you mm -hmm. think about the last episode, was it Courtney that brought it up and they were talking about it on the bus? And then it came up, and then it came up again that night when they were. Remember, I was wondering why they kept on bringing up Bolo, the right. Bolo and trip. I was and, like, "What?" And just from that was forever ago, just from listening to some like throwback, like you people who have been doing this for a while, they're like, "That's definitely production making somebody like, hey, why don't you say like that's definitely production making them to keep bringing it up because it makes that's no annoying. sense, right? Because it makes annoying. no sense for it to keep coming up, but they're trying to keep causing com. So it's production based. Mm, okay so they said the first thing that marlo and candy actually agreed on was that there was some girl on girl action between latoya and drew marlo said she pulled out her phone and started recording because it's serious to her um you know if she got people in her face lying but that was wasn't the only one recording like we said Magneta said she also recorded but she stopped when um you know I guess they said no cameras I guess Drew didn't want to want to be recorded so Drew said you know that that's between her and Candy and she's trying to figure out why Marlo inserted herself Marlo said girl it was just fun Shay they they like throwing this around mm -hmm. um Drew said secretly now that's a snake basically saying that you was recording secretly so no it wasn't fun shady was you know um you know being a snake um and marlo said no boo it wasn't no secret i had the phone right up in your face um drew basically said don't you ever record me marlo said you're upset because you're lying <laughs> you don't know how to push somebody's face um and drew said worry about getting your case expunged um, or your dead hair follicles that you can't get to grow back. Marlo said, oh, it's giving liar. <laughs> Marlo was so unbothered. Bothered. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. 
So then Drew said, what's your career? And she's like, girl, the same thing as your husband. I work in technology. <sighs> All the ladies just start screaming, love awareness, love awareness. <laughs> love aware I didn't catch that. <laughs> love awareness. Put that shit away. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, after everyone, like they tried to move forward, Kenya then asked Courtney if she has anything she would like to tell Drew about, you know, what the people were saying last night. And she said, no, I sure mm -hmm. don't. And Kenya um, said, well, I want to. She said she was listening to what everybody said, but, you know, she's accountable for what she said. Monietta told her that she was riding a fence and, you know, she felt like she was witnessing a collusion. Not a collusion. Right. I said, oh, that collusion against you, girl. Kenya tells her um, basically that they was talking about her and Courtney said, girl, you wasn't even there. So she never is, but she always got the first thing to say. Ooh. Kenya tells her to shut up and Courtney basically tells her to come make me. I said, Listen, I know Kenny ain't no fighter now, Courtney, but I mean, I, I will not. say this, that I, I'm i not a fan. I'm not. I think I've, I've made that very clear, probably every review that we've done. But one thing that I'm going to give Courtney, she going to stand up for herself. Yeah, she definitely is. She definitely going to stand up for herself. I, 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 yeah. will, I, I will give her that. That actually, to me, makes her... I don't want to say what I what I think. I'll say it later. I, I yeah, she definitely will stand up, but that don't mean she won't get knocked back down because it looked like it. That that's what it was giving me. Mm -hmm. Um, but then she told her that she needs to learn from karma, and tells her, you know, she basically uh, Kenya told her that um, she is the moment, and she was like, no boo, the moment is you bushing your ass because. Of your fucked up ass energy. I saw Courtney. Courtney. You you and do Trey, know how Trey, to, Courtney, you spewing it out. You do know how the uh energy in the universe work, right? Sheree is just embarrassed. She got up and left. She's just like F this. She said, she, you know, she crying, they just she got emotional. Yeah, she's like that they just had a peaceful sound bath and now everybody's screaming and acting all crazy. Kenny is talking about how Courtney is making fun of her falling. Drew said to watch your phones because there's a snake among us. Kenya said, girl, the snake yeah, is so funny because everybody else done moved on. They're like, Drew, you're lying. And they've moved on. And Drew's like, watch your phones. Marlo can't be trusted. And they're like, no, bitch, but you're a liar. You can't be trusted either. Kenya said, no, boo, it's your, it's your cousin. That's the snake. That's who you need to be watching. And Drew said, well, who was her puppeteer? First of all, you call your cousin a puppet. First of all, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, and then she goes to call, you know, she pulls Courtney to the side and told her that, you know, she's trying to warn her because, you know, of who started videotaping her. And Courtney basically says, why is it okay for her, her to video, for Monietta to videotape you and not Marlo? Mm. Monietta feels that the difference between her recording her and Marlo re was, um, recording her is because she didn't send it. She ain't send it to uh, Latoya. I said, well, that make all the difference in the world because she didn't just sit there with the damn phone and record. She sent it to Latoya. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Sonia tells Marlo that, you know, she um, shouldn't have recorded her and she's basically, and then send it to Latoya because that's what elevated everything. And Marlo said, girl, I will post everything. Mm. So after all that drama, all the ladies went to their hotel to get ready to go out. Mm -hmm. Then Kenya, Monietta, Sheree, and Drew all met in the lobby to discuss everything that just went down. While Marlo, Sonia, and Courtney are up in the room, you know, basically discussing the same thing. Drew let them know that, you know, she pulled Courtney to the side and told her that she needs to watch Marlo. Sonia says that she doesn't like that Monietta said that she witnessed a collusion. It's this collusion word. Mm -hmm. Mayetta said that she didn't know, um, you know, the premise of like basically what happened, but 
she was, she said, you know, they were getting on Courtney about Drew. And Drew said, you know, it still puts, basically it still puts her in a place where she doesn't want anything to do with Marlo. Basically, girl, just say you don't like Marlo. You just don't want to deal with her. No more. Right. And Marlo said, you know, it was so dark today. She refuses to let Drew have that type of energy over her. And she really didn't because she was super duper unbothered. That is true. Yeah. The ladies finally get to dinner. Sheree is ordering a drink called a porn star. Um, and they're Martin. talking about, mm-hmm. right, and they're talking about Martell hitting her up, telling her to FaceTime when she got in. Uh, that's what my notes say. Uh, because we know Nels is not here for the auntie uncle vibes. So Drew talks about her and Ralph making eight years. Like it has a lot to do with Sher- not not Sheree though. I think it has a lot to do with Martell though. I think it's just I don't even know if it's the auntie uncle vibes because that's not really what Sheree gives me. You know I love me some Sheree. She don't really give me auntie. I think it's just because I think he dirty. Because I didn't get that because it didn't bother me with Tyrone when she was talking about like you know being with Tyrone. It didn't bother me, but with Martell it bothers me. I think it's because I think he dirty. That might be it. Um so. Uh, yeah, Drew was talking about her and Ralph making eight years, and it was very, uh, yeah, and Sonya brings up how, yeah, they were, because she was going through that seven-year itch, as they call it. Um, they asked Drew if her and Ralph are still in counseling, and she admits that she is, but he's taking a pause. Uh, Drew said that she said he's not continuing to do the work, but hopes that he returns. I said, uh, that's called wishful thinking. So Kenya said, it sounds like something is up with Ralph. No. Sh- and while Sonya goes to the bathroom, Kenya realizes- but she- No, no, no. But then said, when is it not? Right. So while Sonya goes to the bathroom, Kenya realizes she doesn't like her drink and tries to steal Sonya's. And I said, this was a Latrice moment. This is absolutely- could call it a Latrice moment because she actually tried to steal the drink. Okay, see, so yeah, I don't be intentionally still injured. You don't be noticing. If it's mine, a totally, I don't know. If it's a totally I different drink, up. yeah, if it's a totally different drink, you're not going to pick it up. Right. But if it's like a glass of wine, you might think it's yours and you're going to pick it up. Hers was a totally different drink. And she's like, oh, okay, well, I'll take that. Espresso too. martini, which I love espresso, but I would never want it in a martini. So it sounded nasty. Mm-hmm. Um, And it sounds like a trip to the, but we'll, anyway. But yeah. Um, so I can understand, but um, Sonya had a little like pomegranate mojito or martini. Like, it's cute, and I think Marlo and look, and Marlo ordered it for her, so she made sure she's like, like, ain't that what I got for Sonya? Like, <laughs> so uh, Monietta comes back to report that she's confused. Um, oh, so this is what I thought, this is what I was gonna say. So, Kenya asked if anyone's checked on Candy. And Magneta comes back to report that she, uh, she's still confused, but we'll have a later discussion with Drew. And I said to myself, so is that like, we haven't seen much of Candy. So is that, are you like a, and this is not to be mean because I love Magneta, but like, are you like a filler? To, to like report, because I know, and the only reason I say that and it's starting to bother me because I notice whenever Candy is not around or she al- she's always the one to like report back or this is what's going on with Candy, da, da, da. And clearly they're really good friends. That would be like, but if I'm on a show and we're both main characters, I don't expect you. She's not a main character. Well, she is now. Moneta? Or you, you still think she's friend of the show? Yeah. I mean, that's you're what not- that's what you're, she's no, and giving, you're, but I'm you're literally she's... proving it right now and what you're saying. <laughs> but, I, but that's what I'm saying because I thought she was supposed to be a legit she's class member really at this point. Her. Nobody really cares about what she's doing in her life. We don't care about her husband. We hardly see Heath. We don't know about her family life. We don't know nothing about Neo. We don't know nothing about her kids. She's not a main character. Everybody else, we know about their family life. Okay, she's not okay. So I, that's the only reason why it kind of aggravated me because I'm like, you're supposed to be giving main cast member energy. And every time we talk to you, it's a report about Kenya or, she's not a main, or Candy. Yeah, she ain't a main cast member. That's why. She's still trying to get there. She's still, she's still trying to get there. That's why. Yeah, that's well, why that, so that to my point, Courtney's doing better than her at this point. Well, Courtney, 
because Courtney wasn't necessarily a friend of the show. She became a friend of the show when she found out she was cousins with Drew, but she didn't come in through somebody on the show. All right. You know what I mean? Look at nails with these points. She brings up that Candy said Marlo said she sent it so Latoya could see how Drew really felt about her. And Marlo admits that that's exactly why she did it. She said her and Latoya are cool. Um, and she didn't think what Drew had to say was very nice. And I thought what was so funny is because recently, I think they were just together or, but Latoya had posted something over the weekend where she was like trolling because she was like, Marlo, I tried to call you, but she was like, you must, you must have an Android now. Cause it's turning green. I guess Marlo blocked her maybe, or whatever. Who um, blocked who? Latoya? Latoya. But because mm -hmm. Latoya is now right because she's riding with Drew in his narrative, so I guess Marlo said her, and so now they're they're on the outs because she's riding with Drew. And that's then, weird because I think that, like I just saw her with Candy saying that yeah that she did kiss her. That's the saying she's on it. that's the speak on it that I was talking about. That was okay. when, That's when she was on the show. And after, you know, Candy does it to speak on. Oh, but but more recently, she's writing with what Drew was saying. Yeah. Mm. Okay. She said, you ain't gonna mess with my good name. I'm out here pregnant for the fourth time. Look. She look good, though. Look good. Pregnant, I mean, she always look good, but pregnant at all, she look good. Sonya interjects and says she didn't agree with Marlo recording or sending it out, but she also calls Monietta out for bringing that information to Kenya. And Monietta actually apologizes for how she worded it at, when she brought it back to Kenya, And Mar but it was kind of like a half-ass apology. And uh, Marlo apologizes, but said she still wants to know what the truth is. I said, y'all not gonna let this go. So Drew tells her, why don't you worry about your legal affairs? Um, and if you can pass a drug test. I said, where is this coming from, Drew? You're just spewing hate. Right? <laughs> like, choose love, not war, Drew. What the <laughs> um, what was it? Love awareness. Love, love awareness. awareness. Um, and then basically Marlo tells Drew she got uh she got she told her she had to figure out her fake name why and protect her fade. I said, ooh, that's a bad one. So Manetta tells Marlo she was doing so well after speaking to her life coach. What happened? And, <laughs> and Marlo feels she's done damn well today and says that people are just receiving their karma. They are on this karma train, okay? Manetta wants clarity on that. And Courtney says she didn't say her, uh, well, basically Kenya's fall um, was karma, but basically... It was karma. I mean, that's what she, she said. said. She said that she said karma's real. Girl, Bob, we saw the tape. So you you look, you sounded like your cousin right now. So Marlo right. starts coughing um, and says, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? Because I guess Kenya is calling, you know, it's a lot going on. So Courtney brings up how Kenya- Oh, oh yeah, because Kenya Kenya called her uh, heartless and, have, and told her that she has no empathy, um, which she thinks is horrific. And Marlo said, girl, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? And Courtney says, I can tell you a lot of things about you that are horrific. Mm -hmm. so, oh my God, this back and forth here. Jesus, it was a lot. It was a whole lot. Um, and so basically, Courtney brings up how Kenya treats people. Kenya says she said what she said. And, you know, what you said was some bullshit. So Courtney says she hopes she was okay and um, tells her to keep falling and bust her ass and maybe she'll change. Can you say that she's a dark cloud and nobody likes her? Marlo said, girl, Courtney, I love you. <laughs> um, and basically Sheree is over at this point and doesn't even want, they haven't even ordered. I think they may have, he suggested some appetizers. They ain't even get there yet. I think they just got their drinks back and Sheree is already ready to leave. And I wonder if they just literally left the dinner because I don't think we saw them really. Do I know it. she said, let's just regroup tomorrow. She was like, we're going to have this conversation. tomorrow. Let's just call it night. We, we done so here. So for the last day in Portugal, the ladies decide to go to a winery um, for a wine tasting. Um, and, you know, Things just, of course, can't be chilled or go perfectly. 
um, Marlo says that she received a text from Ralph. And he's addressing the disrespectful things that she said about him and asked her to keep his name out her mouth, okay? Marlo said that she probably shouldn't have brought his name up, but she didn't say anything bad about him. All she said that she gets her money from the same place he does, from technology. Um, and Kenya told her that she was being facetious. Marlo said that she doesn't want to argue and, you know, she's not going to text him back because that's her husband. Um, but just like she delivered the message to him, she can deliver her apology to him as well. So the ladies decide that, you know, they need to drop it and enjoy this wine tasting. But apparently the wine is working because Sonia said that she's never seen them all so giddy. Mm. So um, there was a group. Wine do that to you. That's why I say wine is... It was the wine right on time, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, there was a group that came out and put a little show on for the ladies, and apparently Drew thought that they were pilgrims. This entire trip, Drew just has uh, disappointed me. So I, I think she's supposed to be the uh, the, the new Portia. You, know, Portia. you know what it is? Oh, you know what? Because you said that, now I realize that's why I like them. You like who? Because you know Portia and Drew. And that's why those are like my top favorite characters because I feel like I can relate. Like I, I, I'm very intelligent. I'm very intelligent, Shade Squad. But I am. A, yes, every there are times where I. Would, I don't think you would have ever called these people pilgrims, Lestris. They did look like it, but um, I. Would, but you know that they. You know that there are no more. But pilgrims. I know. But I know that there's. Well, I mean, you know, I I would have. I'm not going to say what I want to say um, on camera. We'll talk about it off camera. But my point was that, um, yes, I have those moments as well. And I'm the I'm the running joke in my family. I just I just feel like Drew has a lot more of these moments than Portia did. Though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have more like uh, the Underground Railroad moments. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> that, might, it, that might be just as bad as the pilgrims. It's just that that was a really big moment. That was one of that was the main one for Portia. So, but no, Drew has a lot of little little moments. So basically, you know, these ladies they're glad to end the trip on a high note. It only took the last day, uh, but not sure if any healing has been done, and clearly, it absolutely has not. Marlo said it's worse than when they left. There was no healing and Kenya actually came back injured. Drew says that she doesn't know if there's been any healing. But she did learn some things. Portugal is not Spain. Green wine is not green. And that Marlo can't be trusted. And girl, we learned that you need to read a book. And that you uh, might be a compulsive liar. Oh, we've been to that. Oh, okay. Well, that's news to me, apparently. So, yes, that was the episode. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, catching up for those who are just as behind as we are. Because, you know, some people ain't got time to watch TV like that when you got kids and stuff. So we appreciate y'all watching, you know, catching up with us and watching our reviews. And like I said, we appreciate the support. We really do. And if you haven't really already, do. hit that like button. Comments. Please subscribe. Just keep just and, keep subscribing. Share. And hit the notification. And make sure y'all go follow us. Like I said, we are, are the same on all platforms. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I need to do a better job at Facebook. We really don't be on there like that. But at the end of the day, we appreciate the love and the support. And yeah, let's keep growing and glowing. We love y'all.